Hello, and welcome to this Faros Installation Manager screencast with me, Jack Neal. I'm going to show you how to set up remote management and uploading for Faros controllers. In this project file I have an LPCX controlling a matrix of fixtures as well as an AVC that is outputting video content onto a standard PAL screen. These controllers are appearing here in my network tab as I'm on the same local area network as the controllers. To manage controllers from a remote location you need to use Faros Installation Manager. The first step in getting Installation Manager set up is to export the controller information to snapshots that Installation Manager can upload. To do this we'll go to File, select Save Snapshots. Now we need to choose a destination folder for these snapshots. It's a good idea to select a folder that will not be moved or have its file path changed. You'll see why later. For now, I'll just select this folder called IM on my desktop. In this folder you will find a .avc and a .wrn file. These are files that Installation Manager will upload to the controllers. The AVC file is for the AVC and WRN is for the LPCX. As you can see, these files are saved with the project name and serial number as the file name. Now we can open up Installation Manager. We want to create a new project, so I'll click on New here. The first thing we want to do is add an installation by pressing this button on the menu bar. I'm going to call this installation London Store. Select the first controller type to be an LPCX. I'll give it the name Lighting. And then we need to select the WRN file in the IM folder. I'll add the AVC in now as well. Give this the name Video and select the AVC file. As you can see, the media is automatically associated in the media section. That's OK. Now I need to add the IP addresses for these controllers into Installation Manager. While I'm on the same network as the controllers, I can get these IP addresses from Designer. As you can see, when the IP address has been set, the log viewer shows me a message confirming that the controller has been connected to. If I get this IP address the wrong way around, you'll see an appropriate error in the log. There we are. We can now upload to the controllers from Installation Manager. I'll save the Installation Manager file at this point. Now, let's say we make a change to the programming in Designer. I'll add a startup trigger to start this timeline, save the snapshots, click OK, click continue to write over the old files. Now we go back into installation manager and upload. Note that we don't have to reassociate the .wrn file as we have saved over the older one. I can access the web interface of the LPCX to show that the timeline has been started. And there we are. For a more in-depth quick start guide, see the Faros Installation Manager help. Thanks for watching. <laughs>